really interesting one for you today. Now, it's that time of year, it's getting cold, the faults are changing, we've got the winter faults coming in. Now what we've got here is, it's a Vauxhall, it's really common on Vauxhalls, it can happen on any car, but Vauxhall seems to be the favourite at the moment. Astra's, Zafira's, this particular car has been into the garage three times within the last two years because the battery keeps going flat. Now, the battery's been changed under warranty twice because that's what they think the fault is. But as it turns out, after we've had a really good look at it, we find out what the real problem is. Now, on the positive terminal, where all the power comes through from the alternator to the starter motor to the consumables of the car, when it's under load, if you touch it, it's getting warm. Reason being is that the connection within that big crimp, you'd think, how could that ever be bad? How can that ever have a problem? It's just a, it's a, a really main structural pet component. You can't think there'd be something wrong with it, but you can actually see on it, it's going slightly black. So it's getting hot. If I put the temperature probe on it, you can actually see that it is about 40 degrees. Now there's two ways of testing for this. You can't put a, a resistance test across it. It's no good trying to trying to gauge um, by disconnecting it and doing an ohms test on it. It just would not give you the, the right reading because there's no load on it. The only time that this is showing a fault is when it's actually got a lot of load going through it. That's when you get the high resistance and that's obviously why it's getting the heat in it. We could do a voltage drop on it, which would tell us if there's a drop in voltage across the joint, across that terminal, or in this case, because it's so obvious it's getting hot, heat, we can touch it, we can feel it, we can use the thermal test on it and see if it's getting hot. So anyway, we've narrowed it down, we now know that there's an issue with this connector. So what we're going to do, we could replace the whole loom uh, at massive expense and obviously we've got to get a loom. Or we could just replace, cut the wire off, replace that terminal on the end and bolt it directly to the battery terminal, which is what we're going to do. This one is really easy to catch you out. If you, you could be changing batteries, you could be changing alternators, all sorts of things. You could be thinking there's a drain on the car. Why is my new battery kit going flat? And when it's all down to this, this connector. On a normal day, summer's day, not so important, not so bad because you've not got the heater on, you've not got the blowers on, the lights on, which is all loading up that, that connector all loading up through that joint making the problem worse the hotter it gets the worse the resistance is the less power is getting into the battery all the power is being taken by the consumables on the car and the battery just isn't getting anything i mean it's bizarre because we can put the voltmeter across it and actually be getting 14.5 volts when the engine's running so it's telling us nothing, it's, you're getting no information at all from a voltmeter. The voltage is correct across the battery when the engine's running. It makes you think that the, the whole system is working correctly and the problem must be the battery, but it's not. Again, using the voltage drop, it's a great way to see if you've got a good engine earth. So we connect the black terminal from the multimeter onto the negative of the battery and then we use the positive one and we touch that across there to the engine block itself to a good bit of metal on the block and we look at the voltmeter 0 0.096 which is great anything higher than 0.2 of a volt is deemed bad across the two check your voltage drop see what you see what your voltage is on this on the scale it shouldn't be any more than a volt you shouldn't be having any more than one volt on there. If you've got any more than a volt, then you've got a bad connection. Officially, it's 0.2 of a volt, but on these big chunky wires, I find that below a volt, you're generally okay. But let's whip this off and have a good look at it. Now, there it is. That reveals that crimp terminal. Look, that's the big bad one there. That's the one that's giving us problems. That's the one that's getting hot. Now, how could that be possibly go wrong? You just think, how can it how can it be? It's just a big crimp terminal there. It's, you know, it's bizarre. I think one of the failures of this is it's right by the coolant bottle at the back there. And that creates heat in itself. So when you are doing that thermal testing or you are touching this, you're best doing it from cold when the engine's cold um, so that, that the heat from that expansion tank isn't obviously warming up that, that terminal and that battery and, and confusing you but what we've done there we've just chopped that straight off we've chopped straight through that big wire with the side cutters and now we're just going to peel back the we're going to peel back the insulation there just by chopping around the outside of it 
just get, give ourselves a bit of chance of pulling it off because they are a bit tough it's quite a thick insulation on that and that's rid of that come on there we go look there we go oh he's struggling with that one look come on get a grip get a hold of it Oh, get your arm out of the way of the camera. Can't see what you're doing. <laughs> I need another pair of hands. Oh, there it is. There it is, finally. Finally. And you can actually see that the copper has gone slightly black there because of the heat that it's been uh, it's been putting through it. It's been warming up because of that bad connection. But we're not to worry. We're going to get a brand new terminal here. It's a crimp terminal. We're going to stuff that on there and then crimp it up. Now, because it's quite a thick wire terminal my crimping tool won't go small enough so i always use a pair of these vice grips and shove it in the jaw get it right in the jaw and we can really crimp that up and really squeeze that down you can get these crimps off of ebay and stuff like that they're a bit uh they're quite expensive i suppose if you're buying a big pack of them now what i'm doing is taking that little 10 mil that 10 mil nut off of the clamp and that's where I'm going to bolt this to. I'm going to go straight onto that, that battery terminal clamp there. Straight on that 10mm nut. And we'll waz that all the way up. Get it up nice and tight. We've got just enough wire there to pull that up. I just, I've just turned the terminal slightly. Just to give us a little bit more, bit more leverage on it. But it fits on there like a glove. Absolutely beautiful. We'll just nip that up. And that wire's attached really firm to that battery right so let's start the car up we'll get it running and do a few more tests on it make sure we've got everything uh, where we need it to be so we get the voltmeter again we'll just check the the battery voltage and out with the engine running make sure the alternator is working well there we go look 14 14.1 that's pretty damn good that's uh don't forget we've just started this so the glow plugs are kicking in and they're working really well so that's that's zapping a bit of power we can do a voltage drop test across the terminal, make sure that's all okay. And there we go, 0.9 of a volt, so we're absolutely spot on with that. You can get this uh, thermal tester on there now, and you can see that is now way below that 40 degrees that we were showing originally. 16 volts, 15 volt, 15, what am I on about? Degrees. <laughs> volts, degrees, blah, blah, I'm getting all muddled up. Yeah, 15 degrees, 13, 11. And you can really get this thing accurate to the point. It's got a little uh, laser that you can just follow around and it tells you exactly what the temperature of each, well, where it's pointing to. It's a brilliant bit of kit. But you can see that the actual battery itself is about 8 degrees. And that it's going to be getting slightly, slightly warm because it, it is working. There is current going through it, but it's nothing like that 40 degrees that we were seeing earlier. And like I say, and we've... We've got a lot of power going through this at the minute. It's just started up, so now the battery as well, because we've actually got a decent connection there, that battery's taking a lot of amps to charge back up again. It'll be pulling about 30 amps into the battery. Um, the glow plugs are kicked in. We've got other consumables on the car running. I hope that's been of use to you. A really interesting one. C catch a lot of people out. can catch a lot of garages out. So if you've been struggling, if your battery's been going flat numerous times, if you've got charging problems, you're doing your head in, you can't figure it out, check for that. Check your terminals. Just touch them, see if they're getting hot. If they're getting hot, if they're getting warm, there's your problem. That, the battery terminals, the battery itself, 10 degrees tops really, you shouldn't be thinking it'd be getting any hotter than that. Those terminals, if you touch them and they're just, just slightly warm, not a problem. If they're getting hot, if they if they feel, yeah, you know, there's some heat coming in there, you've got an issue, you've got a problem, and you need to get that sorted out. Like I say, this time of year, electrical issues, this is where it all starts. It's getting cold, winter's coming. Like, subscribe, thanks for watching.